Why is long QT so important? It can cause sudden death, often in young people. How do they die? Rapid ventricular arrhythmia, typically polymorphic VT. And an unusual form known as torsade point, or twisting of the points. This refers to a reversal of the axis which goes back and forth during the tachycardia. Is there any other characteristic? Yes, typically tachycardia begins after a short, long, short ectopic cycle. With the R on T phenomenon. How does long QT do this? The QT is long because the action potential is prolonged. Also, there's a difference between the cells in the subendocardium, midmyocardium and epicardium, and this sets up a gradient across the LV. This is the substrate for re-entry. Why is there a difference? The cells have differing expression of ion channels. How long the action potential is depends on the activity of various ion channels, moving sodium, potassium and calcium in and out of the cell. Are these channels the cause of the syndrome? In familial sudden cardiac death, yes. Mutations in these prolong the QT interval. But more commonly, drugs are responsible. Especially sodalol, or class 1 antiarrhythmic drugs which block sodium channels. And extreme calorie restriction does this too. It's one reason for death in anorexia nervosa. So does everyone with long QT get arrhythmias? No, in most cases, relative risk is increased, but background risk is low. So the finding of long QT has low positive predictive value. How do you tell when an AICD is indicated? The longer the QT, the greater the risk, especially with unexplained syncope. Do you use the QT correction dividing by the square root of the RR interval? Not really. It works in a limited range, but it can mask the diagnosis at slow heart rates. All right, so what about people in the community who have a gene mutation in one of these channels? Yes, you might detect long QT3 rather than the more benign types 1 or 2. They're still at low risk. What if they've got a family history of sudden death? I'll offer a prophylactic defibrillator if they have an abnormal phenotype, not just a gene mutation. This is outside of the expert guidelines. But the history of sudden death in the relative has to be convincing. You mean young age, no chest pain, little or no warning? That's it. I'm giving up my diet. I may even try bungee jumping. <laughs>